It's Wednesday morning. I'm back in the green. Back in the green, baby. We're green, 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 green. Taking three trades today. Uh, playing it safe. Again, you know, really just playing it safe. Luckily for me today, it worked out in a good way. You know, I took profit quickly. I saw that the stock wasn't exploding like I wanted it to. It wasn't doing it. It wasn't going higher. So I ended up getting out of these trades. And every single time I got out early, or I felt like I was getting out early, it ended up working out perfectly for me because it ended up pulling back. So there's going to be those days where the stocks aren't just going to go higher. You know, things aren't just going to go to the moon. Just every day, it's not moon, moon, moon. There's going to be days where these things are just total fake outs and you get these big crashes. So I'm going to break down this trade that I made pre-market. I felt like it was a pretty good trade, pretty good entry, pretty good just uh, identification of the overall trend, the pattern there. So you'll see that breakdown and then you'll see the rest of the trades live at the end of the video and see how I ended up making $500 today. You'll see it all. And, and you'll see how I ended up making $500 today all before 10 a.m. What's going on, fam? Before we get into the recap, I talk about this trade here. I want to give away some hit the vid shirts. I got I got a couple more to go. I got about probably about 20 or 30. So I'm gonna just give away a couple every couple days. I want to reward the real subscribers out there, the real real subscribers out there who watch these videos every single day, the real subscribers who stay tuned, who support me, who leave comments, who like this videos. So I want to support you guys. Give back to all you guys out there who have supported me this far. Even when I do crazy things, you guys are still here. You're still supporting and you're still a part of the family. So do me one big favor. You know what to do. Hit the like button. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think about this trade. And then also just kind of leave the comments. Hit the bid at the end of your comment. You had to actually leave a comment talking about this trade. What could I have done better? What do you think uh, overall about this trade? Leave that comment below and then leave the tagline, hit the bid, and I will enter you into a free raffle raffle giveaway. I'm going to give away five hit the bid shirts today. So five people, five lucky subscribers out there are going to be a little bit happier at the end of the day, hopefully. Don't give away some shirts. So let's get into it. Let's get into the action right here. Let's go. Let's go. So getting a trade here this morning, I was trying to hold it a little bit longer. I feel pretty good about this entry. I think the entry here is just like the icing on the cake here. Icing on the cake is the entry. And I feel really good about this entry. So you can see this morning, ACHV up from four, what was up from 360 up there to the 585 area. It pulled back down here and then started to build this ascending triangle here. You can see the resistance there at the 550s pulling back down there and then just really nicely holding this trend line and looking for that push up there to the 550s. I ended up getting out way too early, like normal. It's just a normal thing for me to get out early. Good about the entry. So you can see on the one minute chart, it doesn't look as clean because it's like, okay, you know, we're holding here, we're consolidating this 520 area, you had the support there at the $5 area, but really kind of this 515 and then 520. But the problem here is let's say we're only looking at the one minute chart. If you look only at the one minute chart, what do you see? It's basically just stuck between this channel here between the $5 area and the 550. So it's just kind of stuck there. So on the one minute chart, it's not as clean. Now we have the view app, we have the EMAs all lining up there. But the big thing to think about here is look at this trend on the five minute chart and how really how beautiful it was. So I was looking to basically jump in here as this to pull back down here to the bottom of this trend line. You can see you got the EMA down there also kind of acting as a trend line as well. So we got the view app, we got the EMA, pretty clear. I didn't really need to draw this trend line on there because we really had this EMA just acting as a trend line and pushing this higher. And you can see, you know, higher lows, higher lows, a little, little pull down right there just because I think this volume pre-market kind of gets weird sometimes. Starts to move higher, move higher, gets stuck there at 550, pulls back. I'm not sure this is even like a real candle. Maybe it is, but that's a big drop there, but it came right back up and then follow this trend line higher. And what I was basically looking to do, like I said, is buy at the bottom of this trend line and then look for the next move higher. Now, obviously it spiked up here to 558, which, you know, story of my life, it's going to happen. The moment that I sell, you know, the stock's going to go higher the minute that you sell every time. It's just, it's just how it works. So I basically uh, was looking to lock in, locked, I locked in 500 shares there on that 10 cent pop and then locked in the rest there at 541. The reason that I was kind of hesitant at that point really was 
that this stock was already up 50% on the day. You can see how this big spike this morning, it pulled back pretty hard from 580 down there to the $5 area. And then it's also pre-market. So I was skeptical. I was a little skeptical. I was like, it's pre-market. If this was the middle of the day, I think, you know, this was in the morning. If this was during normal market hours, I would have felt a lot more confident in this move. But really the problem here was that it was pre-market and I was like, oh, no, I'm not, I don't want to hold this one too long. I've done this to myself too many times where I've jumped in on these trades pre-market. Told myself I was going to take a 10, 20 cent pop and then we get the move and then I'm like, I'm going to hold it, I'm going to hold it. And then this is what's happened. So you can see this from 554 back down there to 535. So getting back down to the bottom of that trend, popping above that resistance, but then pulling back down there to that trend line there. And we'll see if this can hold. But overall, I'm pretty happy with this entry. I'm happy that I was able to identify this entry. Like I said, on the one minute chart, it's not as clean. It's just kind of moving across there. But on the five minute chart, it's a lot cleaner. So that's one of the big reasons I'm trading right now with the five minute chart on the left and the one minute chart on the right. So sometimes, you know, it's not even about the money. It's not even about how much money you make. Really for me, like I keep talking about in a lot of my videos, right now I'm just trying to become a better day trader. It's not about, oh, I'm trying to make tons of money, tons of money, because if I become a better day trader, obviously it's gonna make me more money into the future. And look at that now, ACHV down there to the 522 again. Is this a dip buy? This could be a dip buy, but I'm not really liking how hard this is selling off right now. You can see this five minute candle just really just selling off there and you know the volume increasing through this move. So we'll see if this is gonna bounce. This might bounce one more time there off that trend, off the 20 EMA. Let's give it a couple more seconds just to see what happens here. I'm looking like if it closes back above the view app, things it'll be pretty strong there. You can see on the on the one minute chart, it bounced right back up there above the view app. We'll see if that'll hold there. But for me right now, the big thing is just to focus on identifying the better opportunities, identifying the best entries, and then trading those entries and taking profit and not looking back. Obviously, you know, 550. That was a nice 25 cent move up there to the 550 instead of only $130 is what it is. You know, you can sit here all day long and say coulda, woulda, shoulda, but I feel pretty good overall just about this entry. And that's kind of what this video is about. It's not about, look how much money I made. I'm making millions of dollars in the stock market. It's about, hey, you know, I'm working. I'm trying to become a better day trader. Obviously, I don't make a living from day trading. I don't need to make thousands of dollars every day to pay my rent. I got other things coming in and I got other money, other income sources that come in every day. So I'm not worried about making tons of money. The big thing for me is just not to lose money. If I can just maintain, if I can just not lose money, then obviously it's a good thing for me just in the position that I'm in, you know, just trying to learn, trying to become better and really just become, build that confidence. I think that's the big thing right now is building confidence in my experience, building confidence in these types of setups and seeing like, hey, Patrick, this is a beautiful setup Let's have some confidence here. We're going to buy a thousand shares. We're going to look for that move to break out above this resistance there at the 550s. That's the move that we need. That's kind of the risk reward there. Obviously, you know, my risk on this was really just like that trend line area. So I was risking basically five cents, maybe a little less than five cents for possibly 20, 30 cents. So I felt pretty good about the overall risk reward. There was a chance that this thing could have, you know, spiked above 550 and got there to the 580, 590 area. So HCHV looking here. This thing down there to the $5 area. Bouncing around. Looking for possible move up there above 550s. Looking like it's going to happen right here. Taking it there at 556, not liking how it got stopped out there. Wow. You can see, watching the time and sales, watching the level two there, it spiked up there basically to that resistance that was there before that 558 area and then got stuck. So, boom. Taking profit quickly there on that one, not playing into that. If this was strong, it should have just jumped from like 550 right up there to the 575, 580 area right away, just boom, making moves. But instead, you can see pulled back there pretty quickly. 
Jumping here on MDGS, looking for this to push above the 215 area. Get me get halted up here. Boom, taking it right there at 220. Beautiful. All right, all right. Gonna put me up over $468 on the day right there. Look at it up there to 435 right now. It's going crazy. It's on fire. MDGS. Jumping in for that break over $2. Was looking to buy a little bit more. Maybe if it pulled back down there to the 185. Uh, let's get another thousand shares down there, 185. I just didn't pull down there. You can see a quick little <clears throat> you can see a quick little spike up there to the 220. All, all the way up to the 235, actually. Beautiful. Not getting filled there. Definitely not gonna chase it. We're not gonna chase it. We're gonna sit back here, wait for a nice little washout. Looking for this to push above 225 here. Holding the view app, holding the EMAs there on the one minute and on the five minute chart. So I think we can get the support here. Get this to squeeze. Big buyer there at 217. There we go. Taking 230. Let's get out there. Lock it in there. Whew. A lot of selling pressure there. Just 230 area, 225. Just tons of sellers sitting there like. Flashing going up, flashing going up. Not sure what's going on there. So playing it safe there on MDEGS worked out for me that time. It was a little little early on this one. You can see this candle here pulled back down to 223. I thought we might. I thought this would possibly bounce off this area, this 225, 223 area, and then we could try to consolidate right there. But we needed to pull back a little bit more. You can see down there. 209 210 area so this pulled back down a little bit further than i wanted it to but the volume was still there we're consolidating and i really was hoping that we'd get this move back up to the 250 area you can see this actually pulled all the way back down to 190 now <clears throat> so mdgs just not having the power and you can see uh, one reason i was selling there was just so many so much selling pressure sitting there at that 230 area just did not want to pop i really if this was really going to pop here if this was going to go i think it would have just right over this once it broke out this should have just been 240 250 right up there volume increasing and getting that big move that we wanted and it would have got the spike that's what we would have got if this really had the power to go higher we would have gotten that spike just like that and it would have been boom right back up there to high of day so you can see earlier this morning this thing went from 130 up there to 255 so mdgs all over the place uh, and then pulling back down there just getting a little heavy on the bid just getting a little heavy on the ass there and uh, just not looking hot so achv also just getting crushed this morning not doing what we wanted to do same thing kind of breaking over that 550 area was looking for that move up higher uh, getting above you know possibly getting back up there to the six dollar area but just not having the volume not having the action and now it's down there to 470 no shares are short on anything today so i'm gonna go ahead and just walk away i'm up uh 543 dollars on the day and uh I'm happy with it. I'm fine with it. I'm not going to complain. And I think I'm going to go ahead and close this video out and wrap it up here and head on out to the beach. Head on. I'm going to head out. I'm going to head out. I'm going to head on out onto the boat. It's a beautiful day here in sunny South Florida. So uh, if you guys haven't already, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment below. What do you think about the trades? I'll talk to you guys later on.